Max should have had another course for writers who can't canter. Oh, but then you would have been all by yourself, Lisa. Lisa can canter anytime she wants. Oh, uh, Stevie. She could totally kick your butt. Guys, it's no big deal. She'd have to catch me first. A saddle club girl who doesn't know how to canter? How beginner is that? Guess the spazzle club better get used to walking. <laughs> That's right. The saddle club sticks together. Either we all canter, or none of us do. Stevie! What? I can't canter. Well, we're gonna teach you. Or die trying. Mrs. Bragg. Is there something I can help you with, Ashley? I just wanted to talk to Max. It's a horse thing. That's my speciality. No, it's not like grooming or feeding. It's more a riding question. I'm sure I can help you. It's okay, Mrs. Reg. I'll just find Max later. Thanks, anyway. Good news. The vet just gave Prancer a clean bill of health. Excellent means Prance is ready for a first pasture mate. I was thinking Starlight. Really? You want to make the introductions? Come on, Prance. You're gonna love him.
I take it it wasn't love at first sight. I've never seen him do that before. Do you remember Lisa's first day at Pine Hollow? My mum almost made horse patties out of Stevie and Carol. <laughs> we thought Lisa was another Veronica. And how would you have felt if Max had ordered you to be friends? No way. Now look at the three of you. Starlight won't even give Prancer a chance. True friendship is determined by the strength of the bond. Not how long it took to form. Some friendships just need more time than others. But when I put my heel down and my leg back, my knee digs in and you're always saying, don't grip with your knees. Mm -hmm. There. See this? She looks amazing. Do you know who that is? No. An Olympic rider? That's Mum. No way, Mrs. Rigg. You used to ride? Always have, still do. Of course, she doesn't ride like she used to. Not since the hip replacement surgery. Hip replacement? Oh, my mum says old people break their bones all the time. <gasps> Couldn't resist. You're on thin ice, Max. But you already cantered when you saved me from Veronica's stupid pager. That's different. I was hanging on to Carol. And the mountain trail overnight? Hatch canted, I fell off. It's not like I need to canter. Well, trotting is fun. Exactly. But not nearly as fun as cantering. Wouldn't it be great to make Veronica eat her words? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Judge gives you a 10 for style. I don't want to do this anymore. Just sit on him for a second, so you won't be afraid to get on next time. You know what Max always says? No, I'm not getting back on that horse again today. No. What are you doing? Not that it's any of your business, but I was looking for Bark. Christy took him out for a hack. Why? An old woman can't go for a ride. Mum, don't tell me you're actually bothered by what Ashley said. To her, Veronica's over the hill. It's not that Ashley thinks I'm old. It's that she thinks only young people ride. Now, I'd hate to see someone with her riding ability quit one day simply because she thinks she got too old. Mm. Well, I'm sure someone will set her straight. Stop it. Come on, Carol. You heard Mrs. Reg. 
You can't force him to like Prancer. I know, but he doesn't have to be such a bully. Looks like it's gonna rain. We better hurry. Can't she freak some thunderstorm? <laughs> the ridge. If we hurry, we can beat the storm. But we have to canter. You guys go ahead. <laughs> We're not leaving you alone, Lisa. It's okay. You go ahead and get Comanche home. I'll walk back with Lisa. Okay, if you're sure. Come on. Did you little brat? Hi, Veronica. Oh, Phil. Sorry, Veronica. I didn't mean to. It's okay. It was an accident. Isn't she cute? You're not taking Teddy out, are you? I was going to, but there's no way I'm going out in that storm. What happened to you? That's him. Who? The guy. The one I told you about on the mountain trail overnight. Phil? Shh. Yes. He's okay, I guess, in a baby-faced kind of way. I know, he's so cute. What am I gonna do? Talk to him? <sighs> you might wanna clean up first.
Prance is starting to look like a prize fighter with all the cuts and bruises. Maybe Starlight and Prance are under suited to each other as you thought. Well, let's not give up on them yet. Where are the girls? Oh, they went out for a ride. Said they'd be back in an hour. How long ago was that? Oh, don't worry. This is the Saddle Club. If anyone knows enough to get out of the rain, it's those girls. haven't come back yet, have they? Probably found some place dry to wait out the storm. I know. Still, I feel better when they're back. You want me to go look for them? Oh, no thanks, Red. I'll go. Max will need your help at the feed store. Coming to look for you. Stevie fell over a cliff and Carol tried to help her, but she stuck to It's all right, Lisa, calm down. Now, can you take me to them? We've got to hurry. Uh, hold on. You've got to help me. Hurry! Come on. Right. All right, Lisa. Now, I'm going to put this on here, and then I want you to lead Starlight for me, all right? When I tell you, OK? Can you do that? Hold on, girls. I'm coming down. Come on, you can do it! I'm slipping! All right, Lisa. Bring Starlight forward. Slowly. Careful, Mrs. Lake. Uh, 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 slowly. Careful. Down we go. to me now, tightly. Back, starlight! Steady, boy. Uh. <laughs> Easy now. Hold on, girls. <laughs> Push with your feet. That's it. Back, starlight. We're nearly there, girls. Nearly there. Oh. Oh. oh, we made it. Are you all right? Yes. Okay. Are you doing yeah. Are you all right? Oh. Well done, Mrs. Ray. Ah, oh. couldn't have done it without you. I'm sorry I called you a bully, Starlight. <laughs> Lisa, I knew you could canter. Not just canter, she galloped. <laughs> and all this time, all we had to do was fall over a cliff. <laughs> Patch did all the work. So did he ask you out? No, I don't even know where he is. He said he had to go to the bathroom, but then he never came back. 
Did you hear about Stevie and Carol? Comanche freaked out and Stevie fell off a cliff and Lisa had to ride back for help. Lisa? I guess that's the last time we'll ever see Stevie and Carol. Yeah, the way Lisa rides. Right? Actually, Lisa saved their lives. Mrs. Reg said Lisa galloped through the storm by herself and found her way back to Stevie and Carol. I never knew Lisa was so good. I know, she's amazing. So much for Babyface. He is totally on their side. <sighs> He's still cute. Here we go. Get some hot coffee into you. It'll warm you up. Just what the doctor ordered. Mm. Oh. Yes, Ashley? So you really saved Stevie and Carol? That's right. You rode out to the ridge and just jumped over the cliff? I wouldn't say jump, exactly. But you got on your horse and rode to the rescue? Well, yes. Not bad for an old woman, hey, Ashley? Not bad. It's so cool. You're a hero. Nonsense. That is what any responsible rider would do. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier, Ashley. Riders come in all shapes, sizes and ages. Good, because I want to be just like you. <laughs> That's so sweet, dear. When I get old... <sighs> that thin ice, Max. Very thin ice. Dumb. Well, it was an accident. We never should have pushed Lisa to canter. I mean, what were we thinking? Making her ride with her eyes closed? You what? Well, everyone knows you're not supposed to ride on the ridge trail in the storm. Well, it came in so fast. How far. many times have you told us that? Was there anything you wanted to add, Mum? But I guess there's just one thing left to say. Nice job with Lisa, girls. Come quick! It's Starlight and Prancer! <laughs> Everything in its own time. Won't you open up the door and Hello. let me